guys, what is up? And now I'm filming from a different location today. No particular reason why, I just felt like it. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. And that is basically this. How do the rights, like recently, as you know, I bought half of Countdown, like all its characters. I bought half of Supernovas with, um, Shady, I'm not Shady, I am not said Shady on my head. With um, Detective Freeze and Neo, and I have bought also a huge estimate of Jailbroken. And recently, Hacksmith has also been signed on to the MCU. So, with all that said, um, I might as well like, hold on a second. I'm just gonna try to lower. With all that being said, I might as well explain to you how the MCU works. Like, when I buy these particular rights, how do they work? Okay. So when I bought the rights, I bought them for a particular reason. Like, the MCU, you can sign on for free. No contracts, actually. You just ask, and yeah, but the problem is, is that once you say, once I say yes, that property is with the MCU forever. Just to, like, say, okay, if you just, like, we have a disagreement with you, fine, but we can still use the character because we probably are in the middle of something with him, and we just don't want to, like, give him back, um, give, like, you can still use him for whatever you want, but, um, we just want to keep using him for our shared universe, and, um, it's kind of what I did with Jailbroken, but, and Countdown, and Supernovas, um, here's the thing, though. Oh, and Hacksmith. Hacksmith has also been signed on. However, I didn't buy those rights. Miguel gave them to me for free. Um, however, here's the difference. Um, as of right now, um, I own the rights towards the following characters. Striker, Neo, Detective Freeze, Parody, not parody, um, cameo and Easter egg appearances of Neo. And I also own the name of, like, I also can use the name Supernovas and Novas. I own, um, cameo rights of Miguel and, um, Carson Hunter. I own Paul Damonte and Officer and Kevin Ty. Um,. Like, those are the characters that I own. Um, but here's the thing. How is that different? Well, it's a little bit different because I bought those characters. They're not, they are part of the MCU, yes. But I bought those characters so I can use them in particular shows that I have planned created. For example, um, I am creating, um, Detective, uh, not Detective, um, Paul Damonte and um, um, Officer Ty to make their own appearance in um, their own show on Modi on um, Ultra Swag Time called Cop Ops, mainly because I feel like that those characters are the least treated characters in Miguel's series, and I think they have a lot more potential than how Miguel has shown them. So I said, hey Miguel, let me just use these characters in the show, let me give them a little bit more personality. He said yes, we made a... We made a sale. I have those characters in my grasp. And Miguel can still use the characters for Jailbroken as long as he's with the MCU. Um, right. But as but even if he leaves, he can still use them in any Jailbroken name as long as he doesn't reboot the franchise. Um... Hacksmith is a little different than the Jailbroken deal because Hacksmith just joined. I mean, he just joined. We didn't buy him. He just joined. And um, we're not going to, like, force... Um, I'm not going to buy any part of the show because for two reasons. Number one, I don't even know what it's about. And number two, I'm not going to buy it because um, I'm, I just wanted it to join the MCU. It did. So here it is. It joined the MCU. And now it can interact with Shady O'Malley. However, Uplink, it's still not part of the MCU, not yet. 
I'm still waiting for Jaden's final word on it. Who knows? Could be amazing. Anyway. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? However, Jaden, it's a little different. I have a bigger grab on it, and I got it for far less. Um, I got Striker, I got Neo, and I got Detective Freeze, and I own Desmond Force, ca um, Desmond Force, um, Cameo, and the Easter Egg Rights, and I can own, oh, and the Supernova and Novus. Thanks. I own that. Uh, why did I buy that? I bought them because even if it's a super dumb, um, because when I first watched Supernovas, I thought of it as a um, Desmond Force directed movie. Like, it was all focusing on Desmond Force as the X Men movies are directed on Wolverine, except for De X Men Days of Future Past. They're all focused on Wolverine. And that's kind of what I thought Jaden was leading with this new show. And I thought those two side characters that he created for himself had a lot more potential than he was offering them. So I said, hey, Jaden, just let me buy these characters. And at the time, Countdown was the whole thing. Uh, let me buy these characters. And uh, in exchange, I'll give you this amount of money. He said, yes, we sign them on. They're with me. He can still use them in any supernova name he wants, but I own the characters. They can be... They're exclusively able to be published on UST, um, Ultra Spike Time, and um, I have a long term um, plan with those. The top ops, I already know like episode 1 till 3 because I have to follow the storyline of Jailbroker. Um, Supernovas, it's a little bit different. I can do standalone films, I can do it like. As long as I stay true to the franchise, and trust me, I know how to. I'm going to stay true to this franchise regardless. And that's what I'm going with. So far, I have a Neo um, standalone film already written. I'm just um, just waiting on a couple things. I'm just waiting until I finish my test, which actually begins tomorrow. And I, um, But after that, I am working on the Neo standalone film. I'm working on the Detective Freeze standalone film. Um, will they get a sequel? I already know Neo is going to get a sequel because I just like the way I r wrote him. Detective Freeze, however, I have not written him yet. However, you guys are going to like him. I, I, I'm making him like a Deadpool slash Spider-Man kind of character. Because as you see, he never really exactly had a character. You just saw him as that character that spoke very little dialogue. And could I make that? Could I achieve that? Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty damn confident I can make that. Is it going to happen? Yes. We have already begun filming. Not filming, but I've already finished writing Neo. Okay, but here's the thing. I have so far five movies already planned out. One of them I just thought of now. But I have five movies planned out already for these two characters. Two! With two characters, I already have five movies in development. One is still consideration, and that is a Detective Freeze standalone sequel. It depends, like, how I write it, because I haven't even wrote Jack Squat for it yet. But it really depends on how I write it, because if it's good, you can be damn well sure I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a sequel. But after all that, after all that, don't think that fifth movie I planned is Neo 3. Don't think that. But in fact, it's going to include the two characters, but I'm going to tell a part of the story I think you guys are going to really like, because as of right now, I know the entire, I know practically the entire uh, um, countdown storyline. Countdown 1 started off with them getting their powers. Countdown 2 will be them doing something I cannot reveal yet. But I will say it has the end credit scene that I said so many times that leads into Uplink. Um, Countdown 3, I already know what happens with that one. Jaden told me specifically what happens with that one. And yes, I will confirm now that there's going to be a Countdown 4. I keep saying Countdown. Supernovas, Supernovas. 
Supernova 4, um, which he told me is going to be dark and grinnier than the ones before. And that's kind of what I'm leading with another project. So hopefully, but here's the thing. I asked Jaden to do something, and uh, he changed his mind. And he's going to do it in the 4 Supernova. I don't want to say what it is, but I wanted to say... For this, he wants to buy back Neo and Detective Freeze. Truth is, I don't think I'm going to sell them for a while. Because if I have five movies in development, possibly one more, um, if I have four movies in um, development, possibly five, it really depends on how Detective Freeze does, um, that will be my conclusion of whatever will happen. But as of right now, I don't know. Um, damn it.